call your friends and sit down and uh, take notebook, scale, pencil, rubber, everything and uh, listen to my class carefully. Say good morning to the master. Well, crop production and management is the first chapter today. I would like to start the lesson for you and your friends. Of open Highly Chalakari and Chitruka, <coughs> rural students of science. You know, my dear friends, the first of this crop production and management of age standard NCRT textbook, productivity challenges, farm holdings, Indian monsoon, food storage and food processing, irrigation, subsidy of the government of Karnataka and the government of India. Crop pattern, fertilizer, and soil nutrients. These are all the important things to be noted in the crop production and management, my dear friends. Uh, now, <clears throat> I would like to give a brief introduction to the agricultural science, the discovery of agricultural practices. You know, the good old days in the ancient days, agricultural practices from nomadic tribes they were wandering in the groups from place to place in search of food and shelter they ate raw materials fruits vegetables and started hunting for animals and for food later they could cultivate land and practice agriculture and produce the essential food materials like rice wheat and other food crops today India ranks second world's largest in farm output. The economic contribution of agriculture to India's GDP is steadily declining with the country's broad-based economic growth getting nearly 50% of population dependent on it for livelihood. Agriculture along with the fisheries and forestry is one of the largest contribution to the gross domestic product GDP. As per the estimates of the Central Statistics Office, CSO, the share of agriculture and allied sectors including agriculture, livestock, forestry and fishery is expected to be 17.3% of the gross value added during 2016 and 17 up to 2011 and 12. The Department of Agriculture and Cooperation under the Ministry of Agriculture is responsible for development of agriculture sector in India. It manages several other bodies such as the National Dairy Development Board, NDDB, to develop other allied agricultural sectors. Our country, India, is a large country. It is a vast country in the world. Next to China, we are the richly populated country in the world. In order to provide food for a large population, regular production, product, production, as well as proper management and distribution of food is very, very essential, my dear friends. It is very much necessary. So, we have to produce agricultural materials, agricultural crops for the management. Well, coming to the discovery of agricultural practices, our country, India, is a large country, as I told you, the large population regular production proper management and distribution of food is very much essential as i told you before cultivation of agricultural land activities or tasks are to be done properly step by step there is a systematic work to be done labor to be done preparation of soil sowing adding manure and fertilizers irrigation protecting from weeds harvesting storage is very very important during the process of agriculture practices the preparation of soil is the first step before growing a crop one of the most important task in agriculture is to turn the soil and loosen it this allows the roots to penetrate deep into the soil the loose soil allows the roots to break easily even when they go deep into the soil why does the loosening of soil allow the roots to breathe easily? The loosened soil helps in the growth of earthworms, microbes present in the soil. These organisms are friends of farmers since they further turn and loosen the soil and add humus to it. Earthworm is a friend of farmer, my dear friends. You know what? 
But why does the soil need to be turned and loosed? Loosened, loosened, you know. We have learned in the previous classes that soil contains minerals, water and the air and some living organisms. In addition, dead plants and animals get decomposed by soil organisms. In this way, various nutrient cells in dead organisms are released back into the soil. These nutrients are again absorbed by plants. Since only a few centimeters of top layer of soil supports plant growth, turning and loosening the soil brings these nutrient rich soil to the top so that plants can use the nutrients. The process of loosening and turning of the soil is called tilling or plowing. This is done by using a plow. Plows are made up of wood or iron. If the soil is very dry, it may need watering before plowing. That's why farmers are waiting for the monsoon rains before their operation, before their cultivation, before the starting of the agricultural work, my dear friends, you know, being we are among rural students, we know what is agriculture since the olden days we are doing agriculture, plows are made of wood or iron which are used and this on soil called crumbs, if it is necessary to break these crumbs with the plank, the field is leveled or for sowing as well as for irrigation purpose. The leveling of soil is done with the help of leveler. Sometimes manure is added to the soil before tilling. The helps proper mixing of manure with soil. The soil is watered before sowing. Well, friends, this is a very important uh, slide. Uh, tilling or plowing. Uh, in olden days, uh, they are using oxen and plow. This is uh, in our good old days, even today, uh, people in the our villages, they are using that uh, nowadays all people are using uh, tractors. Before that, in up to 1980s, up to 2000 millennium and 2010 also, people were using oxen and the plow, <coughs> which is a plow, uh, plow is uh, important uh, agricultural equipment. But today, the modern modernization of agriculture, people are going for the tractors, tractor cultivators, and they will be very happy. Anyway, this is an information. Tilling and plowing is a very important uh, basic concept of agriculture. Sowing. What is sowing, my dear friends? Sowing is the most important part of crop production. Before sowing, good quality seeds are selected. Good quality seeds are clean and healthy seeds of a good variety. Farmers prefer to the seeds which give a high yield. Seed drill is used for sowing with the help of tractors. This tool sows seeds uniformly at proper distances and depths. It ensures that seeds get covered by the soil after sowing. This prevents damage caused by the birds. Sowing by using a seed drill saves time and labor. Next addition of uh, fertilizers. So fertilizers act predominant role a dominant role in the field of agricultural science and in agricultural cultivation. The substances which are added to the soil in the form of nutrients for the healthy growth of plants are called manure or fertilizers. Fertilizers are chemical substances which are rich in particular nutrients. How are these different from manure? Fertilizers are produced in factories. Some examples of fertilizers are urea, urea, ammonium sulfate, superphosphate, potash, NPK. The NPK abbreviation stands for nitrogen, phosphorus, potash, potassium. So, my dear friends, these are very important to the plant's growth. Nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, which are very important. The use of fertilizers has helped farmers to get battery. So, this one and this one. Farmers to get better yield of crops such as wheat, paddy and maize. But expensive, excessive use of fertilizers has made the soil less fertile. Fertilizers have also become a source of water pollution. Therefore, 
In order to maintain fertility of the soil, we have to substitute fertilizers by organic manure or leave the field uncultivated fallow in between two crops. The use of manure improves soil texture as well as its water retaining capacity. It replenishes the soil with all the nutrients. So advantages of manure, the organic manure is nowadays is preferable to uh, pollute the land, uh, better to avoid the, avoid the pollution of the land. So we have to use the organic manure, which are very, very important, which acts as a dominant role in the present cultivation, better than fertilizers. This is because it enhances the water holding capacity of the soil. It takes the soil porous due to the which exchange of gases becomes easy and increases the number of friendly microbes. It improves the texture of the soil. So as far as possible, try to avoid chemical fertilizers, use organic fertilizers. Difference between fertilizer and manure. A fertilizer is an inorganic salt. Manure is the natural substance obtained by the decomposition of cattle, dung, human waste and plant residues. Manure is the organic fertilizer. Fertilizer is the artificial or the chemical fertilizer. It is prepared in factories. Manure is prepared in the fields. And fertilizer does not provide any humus to the soil, but manure provides a lot of humus to the soil, which helps the growth of plants. Fertilizers are very rich in plant nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Manure is relatively less rich in plant and nutrients. That is the main difference between the fertilizer and manure. Today, organic fertilizers are used. It is nothing but natural fertilizers, which are very healthy. So, thank you, friends. Thank you for listening. This is a special class for uh, your agriculture science. My dear students of Gopnali, um, Mr. Master Rohit and friends, Nikhil, Teja, Vinaya, and other students, and the rural students of Karnataka. Thank you. See you again in the next class. Please subscribe our channel. Virbhadraya Demalaya Demaya YouTube channel, Virbhadraya Demaya Facebook channel and any doubts you please call me and send your doubts in the form of questions or WhatsApp so that you can read, you can get the information about the academic sciences of agriculture. Thank you.